It's Matt Chad. Let's answer some of your community questions. Thanks everybody for submitting them this week. First up, Hunter Iggy says, WW2K, will there be any free playable characters for 24? If so, is Legend Killer, Randy Orton, and Batista from 0307? I'm assuming these are just the ones that you want to have in the game. Uh, free playable characters? The only ones I could see them doing is maybe Naomi. Uh, we, I know we have Andrade from years past, but Naomi is very, very recent that they really wanted to. I think they could go and pull her model from the previous year game and just put it in there. Just may, maybe update with the theme song, the Trons, maybe, but they could just say, here's the last one we had and let's just plunk it right in there for you. I could see Naomi being the one. Conpow 10 ytt says, favorite 2K game. 2K14 with the rock on the cover? Yeah, 2K14 is one of my favorites. Then I also really like 2K16 for the Attitude Era showcase mode. Uh, 2K14, especially for, I think, Universe mode was really solid back then. And they also had like all of the cutscenes, story designer, that stuff. And then, yeah, 2K16, I really did like for the Austin piece. Red Angry Birdie says, do you think 2K24 will update these entrances like The Rock's new Hollywood theme entrance and Trick Williams' whoop that trick chant entrance? Not with Booker T. They won't. They probably won't do that. So two things. The Rock's new Hollywood entrance theme, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. I can only hope. It's very possible they can do it. Would they get like the new motion and animation? No, because I don't think they would be able to scan The Rock and get that done. I think that's way too late to do all of that work. And that would be something they would maybe want to pocket and do for next year's game. But it is very, it's possible that they do the new entrance theme song just by itself and maybe the new Titan Tron and the way it looked with the Brummable red eyes. They could do that. The reason I say that is because last year they, they have done it where they have added in and, and patched in theme songs, updated themes. Sami Zayn's theme song got updated mid game, mid cycle. It is totally possible. It's, I think based off of what is going to be really big priority for 2k in their like fix list patches things they want to do and add and is that something that's really going to be of a high priority to the fans absolutely like i want next week i want there to be a patch and i wanted to have the rocks new theme patched in there and everyone goes bananas it is possible don't hold your breath you never know trick williams same idea i think they could totally go in there and just add in and patch in the whoop that trick chance, either for his entrance or just being in a match. So I think those are very, very possible this year. I am Cletus says, are you expecting, I think it means experiencing, 2K24 AI breaking and freezing. It's mainly a problem on PC, but a lot of people are talking, aren't talking about it. I haven't experienced very much, like at all, breaking and freezing of the game. I'm playing on Series X and my crashes have been minimal. I have had crashes, but I haven't had anything wild where the game is completely breaking and freezing. I've had my faction crash like twice on me. I've had universe mode crash on me, but just plain regular gameplay, I really haven't experienced those crashes, but I have heard them on PS4 and I have heard them on PC, which is unfortunate. Dip Will Teenager says, when will Damien Priest cash in his money in the bank briefcase and on who? Also, do you think that we should be able to play as a general manager in universe mode for 2K24, 2K25? All right, Damien Priest, cash in he's got like 100 days left from when we're recording this thing and on who wrestlemania is going to be an interesting one he could come out and cash in and make it a triple threat with drew and seth and then win and then you could go and have drew and damian priest fight off for the title or you could have drew win damian priest cashes in after and fails and that way you you damian priest's run with the with the briefcase it hasn't been great it's 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 getting into almost Austin Theory territory. It's not that bad, but it's getting there where it's like, just someone beat him because it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Like, he's, and I don't think he's gonna cash in on Undisputed. That's not gonna happen. He's not gonna cash in on Roman or Cody. He ain't going there. So I think it would be the world title. Could be at WrestleMania. Makes a big big splash WrestleMania moment. It would be pretty big if Drew beats Seth, and then Damian tries to cash in. Everyone goes, oh my god, and then boom, Claymore. He turns around, Claymore, one, two, three, and Damian Priest loses. And that way, Drew is like a massive, massive heel champion with two wins at WrestleMania under his belt. Or you have him, you have Damian Priest cash in on the Intercontinental Championship. So you get the Sammy Gunther match at Mania. You have Damian Priest cash in. Like after the match, Gunther's already beaten down from Sammy. 
and then Damian Priest slides in there and gets the Intercontinental Championship, beating Gunther's streak. And then that way you could set up Sammy and Damian Priest to go and fight for the IC title for months. Maybe it's a triple threat and Sammy feels like he got screwed out of it in the win because it was his and was stolen by Damian Priest. So that's a good story for a few months. And then Gunther could either go for his rematch or he could go off and fight for the world title. But I don't think they want to end Gunther's reign in like, you know, a schmozzy money in the bank cash in. But something's got to happen with Priest in that briefcase. Your second question though, as I ramble, but your second question, typical teenager of general managers for 2K24, 2K25, um, play as a general manager? No, I don't think they will. I think universe mode number one needs to just focus on fixing itself for 24 and 25 and get the fundamentals fixed because it's it's not there. There's some great game breaking stuff. It needs to be patched a lot. 25, I hope it gets overhauled. It gets let, like, let go. They don't do it anymore. And they just migrate everything to my GM mode and do that. Because people talk about wanting a draft, play as a general manager in universe mode. All those things, I'm like, just beef up my GM to have everything universe mode has in terms of creation and freedom. Do that and let's let's dump universe mode because it's, it's not getting the improvements we need. Seth freaking Rollins 820 says, what do you think about AEW right now? And do you like the new Young Bucks with Okada? Young, I have some thoughts on Young Bucks Sting and all of that. Didn't care for that too much. Um, do I like their new characters? If, it, yeah, it's fine. It, it's, it's a, I guess, more refreshing take on the Young Bucks. I'm a little more interested. I'm not really a big Young Bucks guy. Um, and the reason why is because they just, they don't do anything in terms of promos and storytelling. It's just all big moves in their matches and then i feel like i've seen everything a young bucks match has to offer so i'm i'm kind of like meh i've seen it I, and they've never really done anything from a character standpoint that i'm really invested in now the heel personas they got them on tv more they're doing more storytelling them with okada is kind of fun okada winning the the championship the other day so it's kind of cool they're gonna beef the mob then you're gonna, probably gonna get the young bucks the tag titles and then they got this super elite going on i think it's good it's just where are we gonna go with it? Um, the Bucks, I just feel like they kind of get to a point where I get kind of bored with it. And hopefully with Okada there, it's gonna elevate them to be like a really nasty faction over time. I do think it's kind of good that they're using the, the EVP role thing as kind of their anchor. But I also feel like that's kind of like a year and a half too late because they could have used that EVP role and made it work in storyline a little while ago. Maybe when CM Punk was there. Speaking of Punk, the Bloodline 1000 says, will 2K24 include its clobbering time voice taunt and CM Punk chance for CM Punk's entrance? Most likely. I mean, we don't know yet because the CM Punk's going to be released with the ECW pack in May for the first DLC. I would suspect that they got everything updated for Survivor Series and his first few appearances and had all that scanned. So I would really suspect they will get the full is clobbering time and everything with Punk. I think fans are probably going to be pretty impressed with what they put together. Tigger Hulk 3163 says, do you think AJ versus LA Knight, yeah, or Jimmy versus Jay will be Extreme Rules due to WrestleMania 40 being in Philly? That is very interesting. I did not think of that. I would probably say AJ versus LA Knight should be an Extreme Rules match akin to an ECW match, a throwback. Jimmy and Jay, you could argue yes, because it's family and blood, but it doesn't have the, yet, like we got a couple of weeks, but it doesn't have that urgency, that that need for extreme it's yes it's brother versus brother but it doesn't have kind of that big push of momentum it's more like we're gonna we're gonna have this match and i'm excited for it but i think also because it's brother versus brother that is the stipulation like not that it's a step but you know what i mean like that's the anchor that's that's the focus i think aj la knight could totally work as an extreme rules match because of what we saw in SmackDown where LA Knight showed up at AJ's house and started fighting out on the front of the driveway. I thought it was brilliant, by the way. They had the dash cam stuff, the cops and the fake cops were like they're handcuffing LA Knight, but then they're not handcuffing AJ. They just let him walk even though they're both fight. Like, oh, it was fun. So I think because they went in that direction, where they're <laughs> LA Knight, sorry, it's just silly. He showed up at his house and he's talking trash in the back of the police cruiser, yelling, yeah. So I think that, yeah, yeah, the Extreme Rules match could totally work. Cause AJ could just be like justified and be like, you know what, you showed up, you showed up in my house, with my, my daughter and my kid. And he sounds like Dax Harwood, but he goes and then he's gonna fight him. Cause they're gonna go all over the place. ECW rules AJ LA night would be fun. Mr. 
Thuckle says, do you think Brock Lesnar will be brought back to WWE? Um, never say never. Probably. Unless the allegations are really bad. Like, more than what has been public publicized. If WWE could bring him back, do we need Brock at this point? I don't know. His last thing of saying goodbye and, like, you know, putting Cody over... Seems like a good way to go out, despite everything that happened after the allegations. I mean, the bigger focus is Vince being a scumbag. Um, if Brock gets cleared up, yeah, they could bring him back. If, you know, things comb over a bit. There's other wrestlers that have said publicly, like said really bad things. And they've been brought back. Ultimate Warrior Hulk Hogan. So never say never. Favorite wrestling figure you own? All right. Um, some people think that this is a green screen. This is not a green screen. I got the, I got the NWO... Hulk Hogan here. Yeah, I got that guy. See? I, I really like Hulk Hogan, brother. Well, th I like this. I like this this figure here. Because uh, he's got the belt and everything. He's got the weight belt, too, for Hollywood. The spray-painted NWO on the belt. So that's good. And he's putting up too sweet as well. So that's probably one of my favorites. Um, then otherwise, I got a bunch of the wrestling Funko Pops. So I like those, too. The Darkness says... I bought the 40 Years of WrestleMania edition, but I was wondering what's the fastest way to get in-game currency to unlock in-game characters, belts, arenas, etc. for everyone else, or for those who want to unlock stuff to get the most life out of the game. So the 40 Years edition will automatically unlock all of the wrestlers. To get the arenas, you can't use any of the vir in-game virtual currency to unlock the arenas. You have to play Showcase. Now, there are workarounds like within Showcase, like you could just pin the guy, get a count out, and I think you'll... As long as you win, you'll still get the arenas unlocked. So that's the fast way to do it. Uh, but you can't use the in-game currency to download those things or unlock them. If you have the 40 Years of the Mania Edition, you get everything unlocked. So you've done the fastest way, my friend. King Miles says, please tell them to fix online. Please fix online. That's it? All right. Talon Subit says, will Brock Lesnar be patched in 2K24 since he's still on the roster? That was a whole thing where I think it was debunked, though, by Fightful, who said, like, Brock was always on the roster page. I kind of go with Fightful because they're fairly credible, right? Um, Brock was always on the roster page. It wasn't like, I think there was rumblings people thought he was removed and then brought back. That's what the reports started popping up about. But by all accounts, he's always just been there on the roster page. It's He's not going to be patched in unless WWE okays it. WWE wants Brock back in, then 2K will put Brock back in, if they want to, but probably not. They probably will not for this entire game. If things clear up next year, Brock could be added back in for 25. Youngboy says, do you think it's possible that the Hardy Boys come back to WWE for one final run? I've heard the rumors or whatever that the Hardy Boys contract is up in AEW. That seems like a whole weird thing, and I know Jeff has had a lot of issues, and then there's been injuries and all this stuff. I just find it all really weird with the Hardy Boys over in AEW. Their entire run. Like, let's put Jeff's stuff aside, but they came in. And when they came, like, Matt's been there for a long time. And then Jeff came in. And when Jeff Hardy came in, he had a match with Darby Allen. I remember that. And they had, like, a ladder match. It was nasty. And then after kind of that, they were, like, on Rampage. Or they were on, like, Dark and Elevation. And then maybe Rampage, the Hardy Boys, doing tag team matches. I'm like, what are you doing? You had the, they were on Dark and Elevation doing dark matches. And they were the Hardy Boys. I don't think they were used properly at all as a tag team, as a nostalgia tag team that could put over other tag teams. I think they could come back to WWE, maybe not for a final run. I don't think the WWE tag team divisions need the Hardy Boys at this point. And I think that they, they're real, they're getting old, like they're getting older. Sometimes you gotta hang it up. Maybe they come back for one last pop at like WrestleMania and they do have one more nostalgia run, but I don't need them on TV every week. I'd rather see the Hardys come in and they do WrestleMania 40, do a ladder spot if they're going to show up randomly, or WrestleMania 41, and they do one tag team match, and then they get inducted in the Hall of Fame same year. That's what I like to see. Real MJP Music says, favorite wrestling game growing up as a kid? Mine was Shut Your Mouth and Here Comes the Pain, which is the reason I have a PS2 still. Good on you, keeping those around, keeping them alive. Um, I'm the exact same way. I love those. I do have a soft spot for WWF Attitude, because I lived off of that game. WrestleMania 2000, WWF No Mercy, WCW NWO, World Tour, Revenge. Um, those are my games. So not just one. It's like pick your flavor for the day. Those are the ones I really grew up on and then got into, like, obviously, Here Comes the Pain and off we went. Dylan Flowers says, when do you think we will get any new Persona cards? I've reached out, actually, to 2K. I have not gotten an answer on this. I'm waiting for them to actually get released. So, like, Trick Williams and Seth Rollins' Shield version, they have not been released yet. 
I kind of imagine very soon, but those Persona cards have been sitting there for a while. And to be fair, we're not even a month out from the game releasing. It feels like a lot longer, but the game hasn't even been out officially for, for a month. I think after the first month, you see those Persona cards finally drop, the Trick Williams, the Seth, and then we start seeing a snowball of more Persona cards. I think, and I'm speculating, I think what they might do is match things up and like alternate them with the DLC. You get a DLC drop with ECW Punk and like and pack in like May 15th. And then I think before slash after that, you have a gap with the next DLC. I think they pump it up in between those gaps with my faction content and persona cards. At least that's what I would do. Fill in the gaps of the actual season pass and DLC with persona cards, more stuff to grind, keeps people engaged, keeps people doing stuff and buying stuff. WWE Toy Match Scott says, tell us your memories playing 2K14. So we talked about 2K14 a second ago, uh, but 2K14, biggest thing is going to be enjoying universe mode, like just grinding and playing it over and over and over again. Um, even though it wasn't, it's, it's like really good, but it didn't do anything like crazy good. Uh, but it was just so fun back then. I think the, what was that? That was 30 years of WrestleMania, wasn't it? So that was memorable. That was a lot of fun. And then I would say story designer. Um, and I was never one that like was really deep at that time into using story designer, but I love seeing what people created and playing it. And then I would try to dabble in and create like promos and cutscenes. So those are kind of my favorite things. Cameron Brown says, will 2K ever fix the rivalry system so they would end properly? <laughs> so universe mode, I hope so. We haven't seen any big patches. And frankly, we've had, I think two patches so far for the game that have come out. Universe mode has been just getting the like gameplay stability stuff. I think that would fall under that. Um, we need to kind of wait and see in the next couple of patches if they're going to really double down on universe mode and address the issues. Uh, rivalries not ending, I agree, they do not. There's a lot of problems, there is crashing, there's a lot of stuff with universe mode people have problems with. So, could they patch it? Could they fix it? Yes. Is it on their list? I hope so. Jay Chapman says, hey Matt, hi. Uh, what do you think about Goldberg's comments about Asuka Especially, I mean, Asuka, calling her some Japanese girl. Personally, I like Goldberg as a competitor, but he's super bitter when he's not on top. I think Goldberg, I saw the comment, I saw the, the clips and everything. It feels like Goldberg has forgotten or didn't understand that it's a work, brother. Like, he's mad or made comments that he's mad that Asuka and WWE, everyone uses the spear in WWE, go figure. And then er, some Japanese girl named Asuka it beat my undefeated streak. It's a work, dude. It's a TV show. It's a soap opera. It's it's not real. So when he's like, they beat my undefeated streak just 20 plus years ago, and it wasn't real. So I'm kind of like, Bill should maybe just take, take a minute and, and chill out. Like, don't worry about what WWE's doing. Because there's other stuff that WWE's done slash Goldberg with the storylines they had with his final couple of runs that I think other people would say, hey, this wasn't very good. What are you doing? Like, match with Undertaker, dropping him on his head. The two minute matches forever. Not expanding your arsenal to be able to do that. Just stuff that he's done. Like, it just it wasn't very good in his final run. I think his match against Bobby Lashley was like his better one he did in the first, the newer first one that he did with Brock. I don't mean WrestleMania 20. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I think he blurs his like first run with WWE and his like latest run. Also, yeah, Bray Wyatt, The Fiend, when he beat him for the belt for no reason. That didn't need to happen. So I think there's some questionable things there from Mr. Bill. Thank you so much for submitting your questions for Matt Jack Q&A today, everybody. If you enjoy this video, check out more 2K24 content. And we have Unfiltered giving you big in-depth WWE topics. And go enjoy that for the day. Have a great day, everybody. See ya.